Hey everybody, so some very positive and exciting news I wanted to share with all of you. Please share this video with anybody who is a fan of my work and research. Uh, I would love for everybody to know about this new website uh, because it's going to be not just the backup. Uh, if things work out, it's going to be a new home for my show. Uh, so VidMe is an upstart, very well funded. Uh, it's an alternative to YouTube. And I've been looking for an alternative to YouTube. If I wasn't able to find one, I was willing to assemble a team of people and try to get some investors together and create one. But that's not ideal. It's way easier to just take my existing following over to another platform. And really, how hard can it be? All you have to do is allow us to upload our videos and then provide some community features like commenting and like rating the videos and then just let the community do its thing. Just let the community emerge. The same has happened on YouTube years ago. Well, luckily, thankfully, there is a competing service, VidMe. And as I said, it is very well funded. It's not likely to go belly up. Uh, so far, very smart. What do I like about them? I like the fact that they gave me my preferred name. So if you ever want to access my videos, just go to VidMe slash David Seaman. There you go. Uh, same as YouTube, you'll find it very similar. Uh, I'm going to take over VidMe. It seems like it's still a very new community. With all of us going over there, sending all of this traffic over there, uh, my channel will shoot to their homepage and should sit there for quite some time. Uh, not to be like Machiavellian here, but I would much rather just go to an existing new network and put my news videos and research there as a backup, as opposed to relying on YouTube, which is giving me signs that they're not playing fair a content violation strike on one of my news videos after more than eight years of being on YouTube and not having that happen once, even though I've uploaded hundreds of videos, uh, them demonetizing some of my news videos. If that's the case, if you're not going to pay me to upload videos here, then why support you? You know, I really don't agree with a lot of YouTube's recent decisions, uh, banning reality calls, one of the top researchers who was looking into Pizzagate, and who was looking into tax problems with the Clinton Foundation and other Clinton-connected enterprises. Uh, very bad sign. To be censoring her means that YouTube and Google is on the wrong side of history. I don't want to be on the wrong side of history. And uh, one of you, uh, one of my supporters, uh, her husband is an executive at Google, very generously offered to help uh, figure things out, you know, back-channel things, figure out what is going on here. But I already know what's going on here. There's a push to move truth off of YouTube. And rather than creating a second account and begging everybody to subscribe over there and then having YouTube shut down that second account, especially when I'm not doing anything wrong, why should I run to a second account? I have 135,000 people here. Why should I run with my tail between my legs? Uh, it sounds like VidMe is going to be very supportive of the kinds of work that I upload and I like the design so far. I like how fast the videos upload. Now, it's been taking longer and longer for videos to process here on YouTube. I'm not honestly sure if that's specific to people who are uploading politically sensitive content or if YouTube's network is just getting congested. But VidMe, I've noticed when you upload a video, as I tested out this morning, it's up pretty much right away, which is good for all of you because you'll be getting my videos right away, not you know an hour or two after they've been recorded. Uh, so everybody to ha everybody, head over to vidme slash David Seaman. Uh, just bookmark or favorite that page. Hit refresh there every day or two and you'll see my newest videos. Between viewing videos here on YouTube and giving Google ad revenue and giving Google traffic, between that or jumping ship and viewing my videos also in HD over on vidme, I would honestly much prefer you go over to vidme. Uh, the videos are the same quality, and they make it very easy to download the video, too. So if you ever want to archive something I put out and protect it from being censored, you're always welcome to do that, and you're always welcome to re-upload my stuff wherever you want. I'm not in the business of making money from these videos. Uh, I'm really in the business of just continuing to do what I do. Uh, so I don't have to grab every dollar off the Internet. It's just about staying alive, and it's about having enough resources uh, to do this stuff. So I'm very excited not only about VidMe, but about likely bringing on a new employee later this month 
uh, going to bring on somebody to help me with the production and the research because things are expanding here. The traffic and the views have gone up so much that there are more resources and I want to I want to scale this thing. I want us to actually get to the bottom of a lot of what's in the WikiLeaks because it seems like the MSM, the mainstream media, is not up to the challenge. They are not diving into this stuff. They are not researching it or analyzing it properly. They're just screaming fake news, fake news, and that's really not appropriate because the stuff in the WikiLeaks is interesting and it's not fake at all. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please get the word out everywhere. Vidme slash David Seaman. How cool is that? They gave me my own name. Not David Seaman Online, not some random crap with a bunch of numbers after it, just David Seaman. And so far, I love the way it's designed. I think it could really be a competitor to YouTube in the same way that I support Gab because I think it could be a more honest uh, solution uh, for people who are looking for something like Twitter. Uh, there's no doubt that Gab censors far less. In fact, I haven't seen them censoring at all. Uh, Pizzagate remained in their trending hashtags for many days. Uh, MAGA, Make America Great Again is still trending. So they're not political censors and they're not weasels. And I like that about Gab, so I'm going to continue to support it. You know, I barely even spend time over there, and I'm already up to nearly 15,000 followers. So it's definitely an active social network. It's not a ghost town. Uh, and in the same way, Vidme might be real competition for YouTube. YouTube has been treating us, the video creators, like shit. It's been, tre it's been treating you, the commenters and viewers, like shit. I was going through my comments yesterday... And I was thumbs upping some of them. And one that mentioned the word Pizzagate, I swear to God, YouTube would not let me upvote the comment. Uh, it's just been so weird. And people have said that their comments have been removed without the permission. YouTube has not been playing nice lately. So rather than create a second channel and be some kind of YouTube refugee, hoping they don't give me artificial, uh, unjustified strikes on a second channel, why not leave their compromised platform altogether? At the end of the day, uh, uploading and hosting an HD video is not that difficult a task. And so far, Vidme seems to be doing a phenomenal job. So help me grow my audience over there. Help spread the word that Vidme is now my official backup if something happens to this YouTube channel. Uh, before that, my official backup was Vimeo. I don't really trust Vimeo. Uh, they're owned by IAC. Uh, the head of that is Barry Diller, who has been invited to private dinners with Hillary Clinton before, as per her WikiLeaks. Uh, so there's a close Clinton connection there that I don't like. And also, recently on the homepage of Vimeo, as an editor's pick, they chose a documentary highlighting Marina Abramovic, the satanic spirit cooker, uh, the disgusting satanic occult spirit cooker who sprays blood on little effigies of children, uh, so they put her on the homepage, highlighting her as some kind of profound artist. I think she is garbage. I think she is scum. So I don't trust Vimeo anymore between that decision and between Barry Diller. Uh, it might be a case of jumping from the, you know, the, the fire into the frying pan, or maybe it's the way around, right? From the frying pan into the fire. That's it. So why do that? Why not jump to something that is totally ideologically removed from Clinton filth and from the establishment, and that would be Vidme as far as I can tell. So get the word out, people. I want to see some traffic over there, and I want to help an alternative to YouTube take off. And full disclosure, I don't know the owners or creators of Vidme, and I am not an investor in the project. Thank you so much for watching.